Hey everyone, this is Accounting Nightmare, and welcome back to the Mega Man Legacy Collection Challenges. We looked at 10 last time. Which left us at the Mega Man 2 Robot Rush. This was one of the hardest challenges in the collection for me. This one is really tightly tuned. I don't know why it's so tightly tuned. Like, it took me so many tries to get a gold on this one. Not because of anything seemed to be going particularly wrong, but... These bosses, uh, a lot of these bosses have a lot of different strategies you can use for them, a lot of different weaknesses. Yeah, Mega Man 2's weakness chart is kind of a mess. <laughs> I mean, Heat Man, that's fine. Just use um, Bubble Man's weapon. Crash Man, use uh, Air Shooter. It gets a bit weird later on, though. Alright, Bubble, Man, uh, Bubble Man's weakness is the Metal Blade. That's fine. You can kill him pretty quick by spamming Metal Blades at him, and if you just stay at the starting point, uh, he'll go over your head and you can shoot upwards at him. I mean, you want to uh, try and get a bit of damage in before he jumps over to where I'm standing. You can't really shoot the Leaf Shield through all those uh, shots it'll bounce off. So you wait till he jumps over to you and then spam him full of leaves. Metal Blade um, is weak to his own weapon. He dies in two hits. <laughs> That's interesting. So this this is where it gets weird. Um, Wooden Man is usually weak to fire, and also metal blades, and also air shooter for some reason. And you can shoot him through his shield by doing that. Uh, okay. Um, Quick Man's normal weakness is the flash stopper, which will drain him of half his health. But that is too slow to get a gold. I just could not get a gold doing that. So you have to do this, which is really tough. <laughs> you have to use crash bombs to hit him with. And he is really hard to hit with crash bombs. Because once you miss him with a crash bomb, you have to wait for that bomb to explode before you can find another one. So um, that part of, the, of this run is the messiest part by far. Flashman, on the other hand, is pretty easy. Just spam him full of metal blades and he will die. Yeah, I think the cutoff for that one is two minutes. Yeah, you can see I just made it by a tiny fraction of a second. I don't know why that's so tightly tuned. Because there are other things in this uh, in these challenges that are not tightly tuned at all. Which we'll see later on. So on to another Mega Man 2 mix. And we've got the peepee -pee birds from... Um, Airman's level again. And that that guy um, sometimes disappears. If he pushes you back off the screen and then you move forwards again, then he'll just get killed by the screen scroll. Ah, he deserves it, I think. Back into the Metal Man fight, which goes super quick with Metal Blades. <laughs> and now, uh, these Mega Man 2 challenges are on the difficult difficulty. Mega Man 2 has two difficulties, there's normal and difficult. And difficulty is how it was originally meant to be played. It was the original difficulty in the Japanese version. And then I think they added the normal difficulty. And they turned everything down for that. So I think Me I think Metal Man actually dies in one hit on normal difficulty. <laughs> but anyway, on to Crash Man stuff again. Item 1, you'll get a lot of practice using Item 1 here. It's really handy if you can get the hang of um, dropping item 1 platforms as you're jumping onto them. It's a big time saver. It feels good too. Then Bubble Man again, once again, you get some Metal Blades to the face. Yeah, like half the bosses in this game are weak to Metal Blade. <laughs> I don't know why. And this section from Flash Man's level again, it's pretty, n uh, pretty nasty to get through quickly. The floor is slippery here, which is, which doesn't help. And then I failed at jumping over that guy. So now I have to dodge his bullet. But it's alright. Yeah, you can just take a hit from them and just move on through them instead of using air shooter on them. But uh, I think I wanted to conserve some health here. Because there's still a little bit to go. So, Heat Man's platforms. These are the worst disappearing platforms in, uh, in this collection anyway. There might be some in... Uh, some worse ones in games I haven't played yet. This one is a huge offender though. So skip it with item 2. <laughs> Very handy. Uh, if you do want to see me do those platform challenges legit, well, don't worry. Uh, the second to last challenge in this collection is um, 
uh, do all the disappearing block segments back to back with no items. So you'll get to see that in my last video, or probably second to last video actually. Yeah, equipment beams once again. They just can't help themselves using those segments. Yes, yeah, so as I said, Heat Man, weak to the bubble weapon. Bubble lead. He takes a lot of damage from it. Which is good. I don't know if there's anything else that's good against him, like some other bosses have. Yeah, he does a lot of damage if he hits you with his charge, so be careful. <laughs> he can kill you very suddenly. This segment I discovered from watching uh, replays that you can just use item 2 to zoom over it and it'll be a little bit quicker because item 2 is uh, it moves at a pretty good pace. Yeah so this segment it's much quicker to use the uh, leaf shield to one shot those things and then use flash stopper here and it'll stop the second dog from spawning. You can actually uh, in this challenge they end it before you get to the third screen but on the third screen the third dog won't spawn either. And here I have no health left, so I decide to take a death intentionally. Just so I can get back into it as soon as possible. So this is from Metal Man's level. I figured it was just easy just to use Flash Stopper here. I think uh, the really good replays use a zip there, but I have no idea how to do zips. It's where you sort of get yourself jammed in the roof and then you get yourself pushed forwards. I have no idea how to do that, so... And then I get knocked off of item 2. It's really tough to item 2 over this segment because those enemies spawn on you and you have to jump at the right time. But you don't need to be perfect to get a gold on this one, thankfully. Yeah, and Crash Bomb uh, one-shots those annoying enemies from before. That's good. Then this segment again with the platforms. You get lots of practice at that segment, trust me. <laughs> and this segment from Bubble Man's level. I just use Flash Stopper here because those crabs can come down on your head while you're trying to jump over a pit. Uh, that can cause a death. Very mean. <laughs> Wily Machine number two. This fight's not too long. This is the second to last boss of Mega Man 2. It's not the final one because there's another one after it. But yes, rapid fire buster shots do a great job on of killing Form 1. I think Form 1 is actually weak to crash bombs. I'm not sure though. And Form 2 is hilariously weak to crash bombs. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know why that happens. It's pretty great though. Mega Man 1 and 2 mashup. So this is uh, one of the earlier challenges that mixes all the Mega Man games together. This is just number 1 and 2. Starting off with that particular room. That's a mean room. At least you get a bit of warning though, so you don't accidentally fall into the spikes like I did previously. This segment from Fireman's level, um, if you know how to do zips, you can actually push yourself through the wall back there and you don't have to go up and around. But again, I have no idea how to do zips. I think it's something to do with a magnet beam, because the magnet beam is broken and buggy. Hmm. Not too hard a section though, you don't need to do zips to get a gold, so that's good. This section from Bomb Man's level, it's really easy. I have no idea how I messed it up. It's hilariously easy. <laughs> they use that segment a lot as well in these challenges. Airman again. See, I'm trying to get some hits on him before he comes over to my side of the room. Because it might shave off a hit, which can shave off like a fraction of a second. Yeah, you take what you can get in these challenges. And this part again. <laughs> Are we tired of this part yet? So this part you can use item 2 to zoom over a lot of this stuff but that involves, uh, you have to involve, you have to manipulate a peepee -pee bird to spawn behind you instead of in front of you. Uh, that's a bit beyond my abilities so I just do it standard. I'm not going for like uh, top leaderboard lip times or anything, I'm just trying to get gold. And hey look, 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 look what it is. That's brand new. then this segment again. Um, I'm not sure if you can just take a hit from them and move on. I don't think you can. I don't think it lets you. And here I was trying to zip through this roof here but uh, I couldn't get to work. Maybe you have to be pixel perfect. I see speedrunners do it all the time but I have no idea how. Bubble Man again. 
He doesn't like the metal blades, I'll tell you that. It's really fun to kill Bomberman, though. I like his fight. It's also fun just using the Buster, which you'll get to see later on in the challenges. Iceman's Nightmare! Thankfully they give you the Magnet Beam. If they didn't give you the Magnet Beam, this would be the worst thing ever. Just ever. The worst. But you do get all the items, so you can skip over all this nonsense. Back in Cutman's level. Very quick little segment there. A lot of these segments, you get a lot of practice at them because they're just in so many of the challenges that when they do pop up in a new challenge, you just, ah, whatever. You just do your normal strategy and you just um, tear through it without any problems. I think there were a few challenges I got gold on the first time just because of that. Because I had so many segments in it I was familiar with. Like this Gutsman section. <laughs> <laughs> I did find out that that third enemy, you can get it to go over your head if you're in the air when you shoot that elect beam. Uh, thunder beam, sorry. It's called the thunder beam. I thought it was elect beam, but it's thunder beam. And this weapon is the fire storm. I couldn't remember the name before, so I looked it up. But it's fire storm. Bomb man. Poor Bomb Man gets beat up on, on a lot in these challenges. I don't know why they don't use Elect Man, because he's kind of the nightmarish one. If you don't know the select trick, of course. Whereas Bomb Man isn't too bad. And yeah, I didn't want to take the risk here of having a crab on my head. Yeah, that one there, that might have actually hit me if I hadn't used Flush Stopper and knocked me into a pit. Very mean. Metal Man again. <laughs> How many times have we fought Metal Man in this video? They want to make sure you know his weakness is Metal Blade, I guess. Well, his weakness is supposed to be Quick Boomerang. But Metal Blade kills him way quicker, so... Mm. And then they, they drop you right in the middle of this again. Which is... This is uh, four minutes into the challenge, so... If you didn't see it coming, you could lose some time here. <laughs> Thankfully, though, death is swift, so... If you do die here, you won't lose much time. Only uh, maybe five to ten seconds, which might not be too much. You might still get a gold. The segment from Heatman's level. Gotta be careful with this segment. If you go too far, oh, I don't, almost didn't make that jump there. But if you go too fast, you might run straight into one of those enemies and then fall into the fire, which I think the fire is an instant kill. So it's basically a pit. <laughs> And then here you can use item 2 to skip over that little jumping segment there. And then you can skip over that little joker there. Because who cares about that enemy? We don't want to deal with that. We're going fast. Gutsman again. Poor old Gutsman. It's just like a bomb man. They love putting Gutsman in these challenges for us to murder. Not much Iceman though, I must say. Mega Man 3 Remix 1. Ooh, this is the first Mega Man 3 challenge. Mega Man 3 in particular is broken by the uh, the rapid fire button. See that that cat enemy just got annihilated by Whoa! <laughs> Don't ask me what happened there. It's a it's a bug I I had just discovered when I was recording uh, this uh, replay. I guess one of my dying uh, segments hit the portal and the game decided that I'd reached the portal. <laughs> That room's not hard, I was just holding forwards as I spawned. And this room has tons of slowdown. I wonder if there's a good way to get rid of the slowdown and go quicker there. Rapid fire is really good for, for clearing out those little blocks from Gemini Man's level. Then we have this segment from Shadow Man, which isn't too bad, really. You can kill all those uh, things on the roof, which are darkening the room. But uh, you don't really need to. You should learn the layout pretty quickly. Plus the enemies kind of show it to you. And there's no pits for you to fall down and die in, so... There's no real danger of just rushing through there. Then Hard Man's section. This is a really short section. I don't know why this is here. Maybe it's just to give us some health? I don't know. Snake Man. I love Snake Man's level. Mega Man 3 is actually my favourite of the uh, six Mega Man games in this collection. It's my favourite of the classic series, I think. There are a few I haven't played, though. Yeah, I do really love this game, though. 
Yeah, and the rapid fire annihilates these poor things. Mega Man 3 is also where you get the slide. And the slide saves time. So it's where I start to slide a fair bit. Not in fights, though. A Proto Man fight? It's really not that hard. I don't know why I'm getting hit so much. It's probably the easiest, one of the easiest Proto Man fights because it's just in a flat room. You just go under him. And he only shoots in the air, so as long as you don't jump, you won't get hit by him. These enemies, will they get annihilated by rapid fire, of course? Um, Gemini Laser is good against them, though, if you don't want to abuse rapid fire. And Search Snake seems to be good against those things, but so is rapid fire. <laughs> so we rapid fired. Mega Man 4 Remix 1. So we're going on to Mega Man 4 already. They're really moving up in these games. This segment is from, I believe it's from Bright Man's level. Tons of spikes down there, which you don't want to touch, obviously. This segment isn't too bad, it's just the introduction of those um, grasshopper things, grasshopper platforms. Later on they make a lot more use of those. There's a segment that they use a lot, which you'll see maybe next video, I'm not sure. But there's a segment they'll be using a lot. This segment from Ringman's level will just slide over the, those things and you'll be alright. Hey, having them disappear under you is a bit scary, but if you slide you'll be fine. So this segment is a few ways to do it. I, I use Rain Flush, which is Toad Man's weapon. That's just what I'm comfortable using here. But you can go through this room really quickly. Like if you look at the top replays, like they're going through so quickly that the platforms are spawning right under them and they're like a pixel from death constantly. It's really cool to watch actually. This segment from uh, Dive Man's level, I like using the um, the flash stopper from Bright Man and it stops time just like Flash Man's level, uh, Flash Man's weapon, the time stopper. These names are confusing as hell. Flash Man's weapon is the time stopper, Bright Man's is the flash stopper, and a terrifying enemy here, the Slinky. I knew Slinkies were evil. They die pretty quickly though. This segment is from, I think it's from a Dr. Kosak level, which is in the second half of the game. Yeah, I have no idea what the point of those slinky enemies is. <laughs> I think someone was bored and couldn't come up with a, uh, a decent enemy design. <laughs> but then we get Eddie, who gives us some health. That's nice. I think this is the first game that has Eddie in it. Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4 is also the first game that have a chargeable buster weapon. Which we don't get, have to use very much here, because um, rapid fire just breaks everything. But it's pretty handy to have, especially in the... Uh, no bus, uh, no weapon boss challenges, buster only. Those are fun. Yellow Devil Mark 2. This is a strange challenge. So Yellow Devil Mark 2 is from Mega Man 3. Um, its weakness is actually the hard knuckle. But um, I fought this thing legit and I thought I did really well and then I only got a bronze. So I had no idea how to shave off time. So I looked at the replays and uh, I guess they want you to do this? Because the time on this one is really strict. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play that one again because it's really short. So, um, this is another thing that Turbo Fire really breaks. And if I'm playing these games normally, I won't really use Turbo Fire because I think it's... Like, it's not really part of the normal games. An NES controller doesn't have Turbo Fire. Unless you get a third party thing. But they really seem to want you to use it in these challenges, so I do. Yeah, so this thing doesn't have a hitbox until it's almost complete, and then suddenly it just... Bang! Hits you. And then you can jump up and, yeah, slam it in the face with turbo-fired shadow blades. And I messed that one up a lot because I was trying to fire upwards, but the trick is to just jump and just shoot sideways. Yeah, that's a uh, strange challenge. <laughs> I don't really like how they want you to use turbo-fire so much, but oh well. This boss is kind of silly. It's um, it's a room, I guess, that moves around and breaks up and stuff. It's from Mega Man 4. It's called the Square Machine, and whoops, I missed. It's weak to the Dust Crusher, which is Dust Man's weapon. When I was uh, first playing through the game, I, I, I could only get one hit on each cycle, but I didn't realise you could get so many hits in. So that's the key to getting gold here, just getting a ton of shots off on it. 
and um, it's hard to dodge its shots and also get a ton of shots in, but that's okay because your health doesn't matter here. As long as you don't die, then it's fine. The trick is to just kill it ASAP. Yeah, it's kind of silly when it's zooming around like this. <laughs> it doesn't look threatening, but if you do, if you don't slide under it, it'll slam you into the side of the room and you'll take damage. I don't know what the cutoff for that is. It might actually just be a minute, so I might have just gotten that. I don't know, they don't tell you what the gold cutoff times are, which is a real shame. Anyway, Mega Man 3 Remix 2. More Mega Man 3, I love this game. They start off with this room, which is pretty tricky to speed through. You have to yeah, you have to not shoot that thing I'm standing on so you can get at a good height. And you don't need to shoot those ones, but yeah, you shoot that bottom room and then you can slide under. Turbo Fire helps so much there. And then we've got one of the Dr. Wily levels with these trash enemies. <laughs> Very strange enemies. Uh, the enemy encyclopedia in the Legacy Collection says that uh, they were enemies that Dr. Wily threw together in a panic because he didn't realise Mega Man would get that far. So <laughs> that's a cool touch, I think. This is from Top Man's level. Lots of annoying enemies here. It's, I don't know, it seems to be best to just rush through ASAP. Shadow Man's level. There's some very annoying enemies coming up. Yeah, these frog things. And that that was perfect, shooting those enemies as I came down. And then I ran right into that, so... Eh. You take some, you lose some. Normally I kill it with rapid fire to the face. Then we've just got some um, penguins, I guess. Which aren't too threatening, and they give you some health, so... Cool. Thanks. Now the Proto Man fight. This one is very... Uh, I'm not good at this one because of the room layout. I just can't figure out how to do him no damage because uh, he shoots when he's jumping and the room layout lets him shoot you a lot. This section from Snake Man's level, if you're sliding a lot, you should get through with no problems. Sometimes you will bonk your head on the enemies though, I'm not sure why. It's probably just the timing that you use. Now some Rush Marine. Poor Rush Marine doesn't get much love in these games. It's just, Rush Jet just is better in almost every way. <laughs> then some Shadow Blade just to shoot those enemies as we're trying to climb the ladder. Oh god, this section. Oh, that section gives me nightmares. And then you got this section with these things that shoot lightning. And you, normally I'll wait there and I'll be very careful, but you don't have time to wait. This is a, a time challenge. These things are another enemy that just gets annihilated by rapid fire. I think they're weak to Gemini laser, maybe. I th think. It's been a little while, though. Very low on health, but they decide to be nice and drop some health for me. That's very good. If they didn't, then it would probably be best to just take a death at the start of this next segment. Yeah. That enemy, yeah, another thing that just gets chumped by rapid fire. <laughs> and, uh... Then I jump the health because this is the last segment. Hey, no point picking up health when you're about to finish. And uh, yeah, this is the last one of this video. Mega Man 4 Remix 2. This is a lot longer than Mega Man 3 Remix 2. Not sure why, we'll find out. Those enemies, very annoying. They're from Ring Man's level. They die really quick to the Pharaoh shot. The Pharaoh shot is weird because you kind of hold it over your head and then you can like slam it into things and then you also get another shot to fire off. It's a strange weapon. This section from Dustman's level is um, it's a bit scary to rush through. <laughs> but it is something you will need to rush through to get gold. Rapid fire is great for clearing out those dust blocks though. Those garbage blocks. And then we get a Gumball Machine enemy. <laughs> okay. It just dies to rapid fire so no worries. I don't think I actually even charged my weapon at all in this uh, challenge. Don't really need to with rapid fire. But once we get up to the uh, the buster only boss challenges, you'll see me using charge shot a lot. Yes, these challenges do make you do that. This section, oh, I hate this section. These enemies are the most annoying thing. They love to come up under you as you're jumping over pits. They have the perfect timing to just screw you over. So Skull Barrier will stop them. And this section, oh, this is a horrible section from Mega Man 4. Oh, this is going awful. <laughs> and then I died. 
Well, that section wasn't going well. This is a really nasty section. It's from... What's it from? It's from one of the Dr. Kosak levels, I think. It really requires you to be um, so careful in how you handle these pits and these enemies. Oh yes, you'll see me using Charge Buster, because that's what kills these skull enemies. A normal Buster shot will only knock them down. And oh god. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you try and rush through. You cannot rush this section. You just can't. Just don't try. I think this is the hardest section in uh, Mega Man 4, actually. Yeah, those enemies pop up. Jeez, I died a lot here. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> yeah, those enemies pop up as you're jumping over, so you can either get close to the edge and trick them into coming up so you can shoot them, and they'll keep spawning, so you have to go like immediately after you shoot them. Um, or you can rush it with a slide. Uh, or you can use Skull Barrier. But unfortunately, you have these skull enemies, which you'll have to be careful with. Oh, jeez. This is real bad. And also the floor is slippery. So great fun. Oh jeez. Yeah, I have to just run through that. Oh god, this is hard to watch. <laughs> this segment is so nasty. Yeah, so if you use a skull barrier, you'll have to be swapping back and forth with those um because the skull barrier won't kill the skull enemies. For this section, these fish are annoying, so I use the flash stopper. Because who wants to deal with those fish? They can knock you into spikes. Forget that. This section is not too bad. Got a lot of metal enemies, but uh, as long as you're shooting them a lot when you get close, then you'll kill them as they pop up. And that crusher thing just gets annihilated by rapid fire. If you're not using rapid fire, then um, a charged shot will do very well against it. And then this section from, I think, a Dr. Wily level. Yeah, those spikes would change what side they're on. Um, they don't insta-kill you, though. Unlike most Mega Man spikes. So that's nice. They only do a huge chunk of damage. <laughs> and that was from Skull Man's level. Not too bad. A nice break. And then, ooh, this water section. I think this is from a, this is from a Dr. Wily level as well. This really tests if you've gotten a handle on the water physics. If you haven't, then you might slam your head in the spikes and die. Because, as I said before, most spikes in Mega Man are instant kills. And then a section from Dive Man's level, with a whale submarine thing. That's fine. And I died again? <laughs> How did I get gold? I did get gold, didn't I? We'll see. Yeah, that thing, of course, it dies to rapid fire. As I said, rapid fire breaks a lot of this sort of stuff. This section is not hard, I don't know how I died there. But yeah, as long as you... Oh, I didn't die of those spikes because I was flashing from invincibility. Wow, 4... 433 and I got a gold. That challenge is forgiving as heck. I wonder what the cutoff for gold is. If it's 5 minutes, that's hilarious. <laughs> it might be 440 there. Anyway, that was the next batch of Mega Man challenges. Next up, we'll start off with the Mega Man 3 Robot Rush, which is pretty fun. Hmm. Oh, I will see you next time. Bye!